Hello, everyone. Let's learn level zero sentences with this story. It will improve your words and grammar. Chapter one, the strange old book. Once upon a time, there was a man named Axel who lived with his uncle in a big old house. His uncle, Professor Leidenbrock, was a scientist who loved reading books about strange and interesting things. One day, the professor found a very old book in a dusty corner of his library. The book was full of strange symbols and letters that Axel could not understand, but his uncle was excited to read it. Professor Leidenbrock believed the book held a great secret about the Earth. He studied the strange letters for hours, trying to find out what the message inside the book was saying. After many days, the professor finally found a hidden message written in an old, forgotten language. He was excited and told Axel that the message was a guide to the center of the Earth. Axel was shocked and did not believe it was possible to go to the center of the Earth. He thought his uncle was crazy, but the professor was serious about following the directions in the book. The message in the book said that a secret path to the center of the Earth was hidden inside a volcano. The volcano was far away in Iceland, and the professor wanted to go there as soon as possible. The next morning, the professor and Axel packed their bags and got ready for a long journey. They left their home and traveled across the sea to Iceland, excited to start their great adventure. When they arrived in Iceland, they met a strong and quiet man named Hans. Hans was a guide who knew the mountains and volcanoes well, and he agreed to help them find the secret path. The three men traveled through the cold, rocky land of Iceland, climbing high mountains and crossing deep valleys. Finally, they reached the volcano where the secret path was supposed to begin. At the top of the volcano, the professor looked for the entrance to the hidden path. After many hours of searching, they found a small opening in the rocks, just as the message had said. The professor, Axel, and Hans entered the dark tunnel that led deep into the earth. The tunnel was cold and dark, and the air was heavy as they walked deeper and deeper into the ground. Axel felt scared as they went further into the earth, but he trusted his uncle. The professor was excited, hoping to discover something no one else had ever seen before. After walking for many days, they came to a large cave filled with strange rocks and glowing crystals. The cave was huge, with high walls and a strange light that made the rocks shine like stars. Axel was amazed by the beauty of the cave, but he was also worried. He wondered how they would ever find their way back to the surface after going so far underground. The professor was not worried at all. He believed the path to the center of the earth was close, 
and he wanted to keep going deeper into the cave. As they continued walking, they found an underground river that was cold and clear. The professor decided they should follow the river, hoping it would lead them to more discoveries. They built a small raft and floated down the underground river, passing through dark tunnels and strange rock formations. Axel felt nervous but curious as they drifted deeper into the unknown. After many hours on the river, they came to a huge underground sea. The sea was wide and dark, with large waves and strange creatures swimming in the water below them. Axel was shocked to see living creatures in the underground sea, animals that no one on the surface had ever seen before. He wondered how such things could live so far beneath the earth. The professor was excited and wanted to study the creatures, but Axel was scared and wanted to leave. He worried that they had gone too far and would never find their way back to the surface. As they crossed the underground sea, a great storm began to blow, and their small raft was tossed by the waves. Axel held on tightly, hoping they would survive the storm and find safety. The storm lasted for many hours, and the waves grew higher and stronger. Just when Axel thought they would be lost forever, the storm finally stopped and the sea became calm again. After the storm, they found themselves on the shore of a new land. The land was full of strange plants and giant mushrooms that were taller than any tree Axel had ever seen. The professor was thrilled by the new discoveries and wanted to explore the strange land. Axel, however, was tired and worried, but he followed his uncle, hoping they would find a way home. As they walked through the strange land, they saw even more incredible things. They found the bones of giant animals, creatures that had lived millions of years ago but were now extinct. The professor explained that they had traveled back in time, seeing parts of the earth that had not changed in millions of years. Axel was amazed, but still wanted to find a way back to the surface. One day, while exploring a deep cave, they found a giant wall of rock blocking their path. The professor believed there was something important behind the wall and wanted to find a way through. Hans, the strong guide, used his tools to break through the wall of rock. After many hours of hard work, the wall finally cracked, and they discovered a new tunnel leading even deeper into the earth. The tunnel was hot and full of steam, and Axel realized they were getting close to the center of the earth. The heat made it difficult to breathe, but the professor was determined to keep going. As they walked through the tunnel, they heard strange sounds coming from deep within the earth. Axel was scared, but his uncle believed they were getting closer to a great discovery. Finally, after many days of walking, 
they came to a huge underground chamber. The chamber was filled with bubbling lava, and the heat was almost too much to bear. The professor realized they had reached the center of the earth, just as the message in the book had promised. Axel was amazed, but also terrified by the power and heat of the molten lava. Suddenly, the ground began to shake, and the walls of the chamber started to crumble. Axel, the professor, and Hans had to run for their lives, trying to escape the collapsing cave. They found a small tunnel leading upward and followed it as fast as they could. The heat grew stronger, and they realized they were being pushed upward by the pressure inside the earth. After what felt like hours, they were finally thrown out of the ground by a volcanic eruption. They landed on the surface of the earth, exhausted but alive, far away from where they had started. Axel looked around and realized they had come out of a volcano in Italy, not far from the sea. They were amazed to have survived the incredible journey and returned to the surface of the earth. The professor was thrilled by their adventure, even though they had not stayed long at the center of the earth. Axel was just happy to be back in the sunlight, breathing fresh air again. They returned home, where the professor wrote about their incredible journey and shared the story with the world. People were amazed by their adventure, but few believed it was true. Axel never forgot the strange things they had seen deep inside the earth. He knew that their journey was real, even if the world above could never truly understand what lay beneath their feet. And so, their adventure to the center of the earth ended, but the mystery of the hidden world below remained. <laughs>